Hey everyone, Dark Paul here, and welcome back to Game Destroyers TV. So, it's time for another map tour, and this time it is Canadian Ultimate. But before we get started, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you're an old, uh, not an old hand, if you're uh, you, uh, watching on an embedded video, head over to the channel, check us out. You get to laugh at me more and more often, mixing my words. So I'm gonna jump straight into the pickup truck here and start the tour because this is quite a large farm and a huge map. So let's head down here first. Here's our mainstay of starting equipment. We've got a high rank uh, fertilizer, a bunch of tractors and heavy equipment, a couple of combines. trucks, tractors, trailers, and then around here you also get a couple of items as well. Over here you get a little cattle trailer and you also get a slurry tank. Now this one here, this mixing station is for the cows and then you've got these storage tanks here which is water, diesel, I'll zoom in fertilizer and seeds. I don't know why seeds would be coming out of a tank like that. And then you have a mixing station here for mixing for the pigs. So you have your cattle shed here. A feed wagon as well for them. I forgot about that. You have a hay storage shed there. You have not the considering the size of the map, these aren't the largest of silage clamps. You got another little storage shed there. And then you got your uh, what are we? Sheep there, pigs there, chickens, and another shed here for storing hay in. And of course, you got a little bit more storage over next to the farm kind of where I started. So let's head on. Now this map does have a lot of trains on it. I think that's the main goal of it is to use the trains a lot to load your crops. Let's get out onto the road here and we're gonna head south to start with. Now once again these fields are monstrous. They just stretch for miles and they're very square. You know, there's no real. Oh, and flat. <laughs> now, the one thing that is about this map is cell points. There is a ton of them, both for the trains and for you to drive vehicles through. You know, there's grain mills everywhere. Because. As you'll see, there's a grain mill there, a train unloading point here. I'm just going to drive over this onto this side here and keep heading along this way. You've got a, a little sawmill area here for making pallets and uh, sawdust, of course, or wood chips sawdust. But back in here you actually have a timber mill which has more starting equipment at it as you're about to see. Back in here we have a forwarder, I mean a harvester. Where's the rest of it? Okay that's weird. Last time I came down here there was a forwarder and a bunch of other stuff. But there's a harvester there. There's not the only mill, there's more sawmills about. I'm getting a little juddery lag. I'm not used to me that. Didn't do that earlier. Probably because I'm recording. Okay, let's head up this way. Plenty of timber roundabout to 
uh, do forestry operations on this map as well as uh, everything else that's to do you know with the farm and all the rest so but I mean this map is huge let me pop up the map and you get to see all the various sawmills and oh that's right I went to the wrong mill all the various grain mills and things like that there's the I think there's the one back in here that has all the equipment yeah it is Gonna cut through the woods. Don't hit the trees. So you get the JCB couple of, of another forwarder there. Well, a forwarder, I should say, another um, Scorpion King. So you got plenty of options for actually doing stuff. You got manure place here. I have quite a beefy computer and I'm getting this lag even even so, it's quite crazy. Okay, and then you've got this large uh, dock area here that has cell points in it as well. Let's just take a drive in and see how nicely detailed it looks. Got some interesting looking ships or barges anyway I should say sail point here and I've been you know driving around now for nearly eight minutes and <coughs> sorry I still haven't even really covered a quarter of the map fields are huge. Certainly if you want a map to take a lot of your time this is it. This is definitely it. Keep going up here and we'll head along the top. Now, I'm not going to go right the way across the map. What I'll do is I'll go across the top to the middle and then work my way down to the show you the, uh, the stores and whatnot and because the other side is basically just more mills and whatnot little towns like basically what you're seeing right here oh my help I was paying attention to the traffic <laughs> I'm not sure these station farm or three and things are for I'm not entirely sure. This would be it here. Weird. Bit of covered stuff there you can put some vehicles under. Ah, that's what I wanted to go back over here for. That's the biogas facility back here. I suppose you could, if you, you know, need more room for silage to compost down, you could use over here. It's pretty much a standard biogas facility. There's not really much difference in it. Okay, let's head straight south. little rough over the railroad, railroad track. Down here you know you've got more mills. Plenty of places to sell things. Lots of gas stations and you're gonna need them. And every so often you'll find more storage sheds like this here. It's kind of bunker storage to store whatever in until you're ready to sell it or store vehicles in. I'm just 
gonna keep on rolling down here. But yeah, these are monstrous, monstrous fields. Myself personally, though, I do prefer larger maps. Even when I'm playing single player, I prefer the, the larger maps. It's more interesting, I think, actually having to travel a distance to get to uh, wherever you're going and whatnot. So. so yeah, we've got a gas station over there, another little town, more green towers in the distance. <laughs> And down here we have our one of the trains. Now you can tell that each train's got a different coloured line as well. One, two, three, four different trains on this map. So there's the vehicle sale point. Or buy point I should say. And then here's the hay, hay point. You just use the same red barn structure and just put it over here instead and then of course you got another large bunker storage area so if you want to check this map out the link will be in the description below and i will see you all next time so till then everyone stay safe